Hey YouTube, this is Joseph. Uh, you might know me if you're on this channel from my drum videos. Uh, occasionally I do toy things and uh, random stuff too. Uh, but I had this idea, I guess since sitting in quarantine you kind of go crazy, um, that I wanted to do a show or just a little clip segment here. I don't quite know what this is yet, um, but it's about toys. Like the toys um, we grew up with as, as kids, so I'm uh, a little over 30 now. And um, toys were always a big part of my life. And uh, my dad is like a like a big kid, so he always inspired us to play with toys. Um, and he still he still buys toys. So even when I, I go to Target or Walmart or something, I'm very uh, much drawn to the toy aisle. I see what they have. You know, a lot of things are actually oriented toward uh, adults and, and things now. We seem to still be the collectors. But um, so I kind of wanted to do a show and tell kind of thing to bring it back to the kindergarten uh, classroom and uh, just talk about stuff we like you know positive things stuff we like um, so I yeah, wanted to do that and uh, this is the first installment so uh, for installment one I, I wanted to start off with something that was kind of the uh, I, th I thought to me of uh, growing up was like the greatest toy I think I had I had so much fun with it um, and that begins with Batman so when I was uh, younger uh, Batman the animated series had uh, just come on and it is uh, still in my opinion the greatest cartoon ever on television you are watching it now it's got drama it's got a great plot it's got well fleshed out characters it's got cool designs uh, I mean it was it was really a show that was I mean, kids could enjoy it, but even you can enjoy it now as an adult. So I developed a bit of a Batman obsession. And uh, even to the point where my mom made me a cape and I would wear it around the park all the time <laughs> in, in the house. And uh, my uh, dad brought me um, to the WB store when that was a thing. And uh, I I bought a, I had a Batman mask, like the Michael Keaton rubber one. And I would wear that. It was 100 degrees outside. I would wear that at a park. And the first thing I bought of Batman at the WB store was this. This is the first thing I, I can remember grabbing from, from a store, like myself, that I picked out. It was this really cool Batman with zero points of articulation, but it was still really cool. So yeah, my uh, family had no problem feeding my obsession with, with Batman. Um... Luckily, they, they kind of embraced it. Uh, ended up with some pretty cool things. But there was uh, one, there was one toy of, of Batman's, uh, of a Batman toy that, that that stood out to me, and that was his car. So, um, my my dad, along with being a big kid, is also big into cars. So I naturally grew a car obsession. I love cars. I love the fact that Batman has a car, um, and uh, that developed a problem because. <laughs> uh, Every time I go in a store, I look for the Hot Wheels Batman uh, ones now. Uh, which, I mean, let me show you. So there's all sorts of variations. You have the Michael Keaton Batmobile, the Arkham Asylum Batmobile, the Dark Knight Batmobile in white, the Arkham Asylum Batmobile in... Uh, these are both light blue, These are the same. These are treasure hunts. These are hard to find. Um, Batmobile in red, the Batcopter, the Bat Plane. A gold Batmobile, Adam West era, Batman the Animated Series, we're going to talk about this, Batmobile comic book era, and uh, this is the Justice League, Ben Affleck's version, uh, assuming Robert Pattinson's version is going to come out soon. So, when I was five, I think I was five, pretty sure I was five, um, my parents threw me this birthday party, and it uh, had Batman, uh, Batman guy dressed up like Batman come and uh I got a toy and it was the, the Batmobile from Batman the Animated Series I thought it was like the coolest thing the they had the little ninja star like things that, that pulled out of the wheel the rim would shred up stuff uh you put the figure in it and the back slid out would come apart and you can like be a mini airplane and it just it looked good it was built nice it was a great toy um and uh you know, over time you lose pieces and things, and I still got, I think, 95% of it somewhere. Um, but, you know, it was, it was my favorite thing, and that 
meant a lot, a lot to me, you know. Um, and back two years ago, my dad did the coolest thing, which I thought I thought was awesome. So it's always hard as people get older to find uh, what to get them. And uh, I, I never really asked for anything. I just, you know, want family to be around. But uh, he always comes up with some cool stuff. So I got to show you this because I thought this was one of the coolest things I've ever gotten. And this is kind of the whole reason I wanted to do a show like this. So for Christmas, he found me in the box the Batmobile I constantly play with. It has all the pieces. The box is in great condition. <laughs> I know boxes are meant to be open, but like, I gotta be a little bit obsessive and keep this one in the box. Um, he found this for me. I was, I felt like I was a kid again. You know, you open it up and I saw this and I was like, this is unbelievable. This was so cool. And this was a, a toy I felt like brought uh, me closer to you know my dad and again like years later you know this is he gets me this and this is like this is so awesome so i think you know toys are super important play is super important it helps interaction helps build character um helps us negotiate our identities and i think uh batman is, <laughs> is a good identity to have no, but um you know this this was so special and i hope there's other people out there who have something that's special to them and that recalls good memories and brings positivity to your life that you can recall. Maybe you still have it. Um, may, maybe you lost it. We could talk about it. But I think uh, we should we should never not be afraid to be kids again. And uh, let's talk toys.